friends, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be quite colorful. I'm using a kit from Firefly Paper Shop and it is a glitch kit. So it was heavily discounted and it is a photo kit with lots of bright colors. So forget the pastels for this video. We're going bold. I really don't know what was glitch about it. It seemed perfectly fine to me. And then I also showed some of the tools that I'll be using in the video but I think I placed down the base stickers before I actually did the spread, so I showed my Sarasa dry pen, but I'm pretty sure I end up switching to my Uniball one. I'm not sure how often she puts the glitch kits um, on sale, so I would just follow her Instagram to wait for that announcement. Also, just an FYI, I usually buy all of my stickers on some sort of discount, like there's an Instagram coupon or there's an actual sale. I usually wait for that opportunity and I don't know, it saves me money because I love spending money on stickers so it adds up so the coupons help. And another helpful tip is to check like description boxes or Instagram pages of people who may have codes because they could be hidden there and I do have codes in mine but don't feel obligated, no pressure to actually use them. So, so far I have placed down some Simply Gilded Bow Washi and then I used the washi that came with the kit and I cut it to fit with my Fisker's craft knife. The full kit came with date covers and date numbers, but I'm pretty sure she reformatted it so that it doesn't come with the date numbers anymore. So you will have to write them in or buy the numbers separately. For this spread, I'll be using the glitter header method. So I'm just picking out three colors. I found these leftover ones from Firefly Paper Shop and then I'm going to be pulling in two colors from SPC. I am going to start with the top row and then I'm going to alternate the colors. And then I put down the full boxes which the theme of the kit, I don't think I talked about it, is like a rainy day. So there are raincoats, umbrellas, rain boots, and I don't think it actually rained this week at all but I just wanted to use it because it was in my stash and one of the full boxes had some clover leaves so I thought that would be nice to use on Sunday because it was St. Patrick's Day. So I just googled to make sure I was using the correct word of clover versus shamrock and I guess I should be using shamrock. It is the symbol of Ireland and St. Patrick's Day and it says in conclusion shamrocks are clovers but not all clovers are shamrocks. Also, now that I'm looking at that full box with the person in the raincoat, it totally reminds me of that album cover. It was like Andrew McMahon in the wilderness. They had that one song, Cecilia, something about the stars in the sky. You know what I mean if you know that band. I hope. All right, I'm almost done putting down the stickers. If you want me to stop talking about random stuff during this part, then leave me a, a question down below and I'll try to answer it in the next one or the next one. Or the next one. <laughs> so after putting all that stuff down I remembered that I bought this Simply Gilded washi that has a bunch of rainbows and clouds and it would fit this theme a lot better so I decided to peel up the bow washi and I put this magical rainbow cloud washi instead but then you could see through the washi and I didn't really like that so this time I decided to take some white out and I made them disappear just like Jaclyn Hill's career. Just kidding, uh -huh. I watch too much YouTube. Those recommended videos really suck you into drama that I didn't even know I was interested in because I never bought those lipsticks, but now I know all about them and I've watched a handful of microscope ones, but I still don't know the answer to why they were wearing white fuzzy gloves. Does anyone know why? Anyone? All right, let's get back to this video. Mondays for me, they're either really productive days or really lazy days, depending on, I guess, how I felt during the weekend. Like if it was draining, then I'll have a lazy day. And in this case, I was having a lazy day. So to balance out all of the spacing, I put a Today header on top and then this really cute lazy seal that is from Happy Daya on top of a piece of washi that came with the kit. Underneath, I used a dollar sign icon to mark that is when I ordered my Hobonichi Cousin, which is currently the planner that I use for day-to-day, -day, week, and like month, everything. It's my actual planner. I think once I'm caught up with my Erin Condren videos, I will share with you how I plan in that planner. 
but I have so many, so many voiceovers to do, so I'm focusing on those for now. And then, of course, when you get a new planner, you watch YouTube videos about those planners. So that's what I did. I binged watched a bunch of setup videos, and I used a little leftover munchkin on a laptop sticker that was from like an SPC kit. And then another episode of Sugar Rush using a TV label marked going to the gym with my usual Mandy Dream sticker and then I tried to be a little productive and then I printed a whole bunch of stock. That printer icon is from Happy Daya. And then I ended my night by doing some reading. I was reading Turtles All the Way Down which I will admit that today when it is posted in like end of June I still haven't finished that book and I have like only a little bit more to read and it's not that it's not a good book. I don't know I just you know what, after I do this voiceover, I'm gonna finish that book. I'm sorry for my weird energy today. I drank a large iced coffee rosé from Phil's, so I think I have... I think it's getting to my brain. On to Tuesday, I put down a laptop Maru sticker. We know where that's from probably, right? I hope. And then I put down a half box and I noted some things that we bought tickets to and I don't know why I decided to cover it up with a sticky note. Oh, oh, that's funny. Now that I remember, now I'm looking at it, I know why I covered it up because I wasn't, I think I wasn't sure when I was going to post this video because this was recorded way, 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 way long ago. And it's when we bought tickets to Cirque du Soleil, the O show in Las Vegas. And I got it as a birthday gift for Julie and I didn't want her to see before. May, which is when we went to Vegas. Now I get it. I understand past Denise. Good job, Denise. Does anyone else think that it's really weird to say your own name out loud, or is it just me? I swear I'm just, it's just caffeine. I don't know why I'm like this. The rest of Tuesday stickers are ones that I use quite frequently. Happy Daya, Mandy Dreams, More Sugar Rush. So let's just skip on to Wednesday. I use the alarm clock icon because in the early morning, we all, we as in like my friends and I, all rushed to our laptops and we tried to pick up some festival tickets. It was a one day festival, music festival, and it was called Second Sky and it was, I guess, produced by my favorite DJ, Porter Robinson, so it was like a must go for me at least. And then I also pulled in this Happy Die character that is like going ham on her laptop, spending money. And I just kept refreshing, but luckily we all got tickets, so yay! And then after that, I used some of the rainbow washi to fill in the white space, and then I put a half box on top. I got to hang out with Justine that day, and we're trying to meet up at least like once a month just to catch up, and we love ranting to each other about our lives. So yeah, I actually... I don't know if I've seen her in the month of June month is ending this week so I'm running out of time to actually hang out. I should probably do that soon. But anyways, I put that on a half box and then we got the delicious Bonchon Korean fried chicken. So delicious. I highly recommend Korean fried chicken. It is different than American style. It's like the taste of like soy garlic and like spiciness. It's a great combination. And then, of course, we got boba afterwards, so I used another character sticker from Happy Diet to mark that. And we had this thing called Package 1 and Package 2 when we were in college, and it was basically just because we only did two things when we weren't, like, studying, is we would either go to, like, Target and get milk tea and go to Michael's and then watch a, watch a rom-com, or the second package would be going to a Japanese market, getting another kind of boba, and... I think that was it in that package. Yeah, so, but this time we did one of, I don't know why I'm explaining it so thoroughly, but we did one of the packages and then I went home and went to the gym. Thursday morning, Brian woke up early and he got us tickets to see the Cursed Child in December, so I'm so excited for that and we are gonna go with his family. So, yay, that's very exciting. I'm going to try to re read all of the books. Um, I'm actually, I only read the first three. I'm sorry, I'm such a fake fan, but I mean, at least I watched all the movies. Does that count? Do I get like half a point? I don't know why there's so many whispering parts in this voiceover. Anyways, uh, I also got a Jet Pens order that day. Is that when I got my Hobonishi cousin in the mail? Dang, that was fast shipping. 
And because I got boba the previous day, I did the thing where I got two and I saved one in the fridge for the next day, so I drank my hojicha milk tea on Thursday. I uploaded, oh my gosh, that was when I uploaded week two drama with me. Wow, I was really, really behind, huh? And I used this tiny little emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that, went to the gym, and then I also ordered my teddy jacket, which I really love. It was on super sale because it was out of season and whatever, but I am ready for fall now because I have my teddy jacket, and I marked it with this teddy onesie, which is also from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then underneath, I put a tidy up script sticker from my shop. On Friday, I decided to do something a little bit different, and I actually went to the gym in the morning instead of at night because I knew that I was going to be out and about at night, so I got it over with, and I gotta say, I don't really like working out in the morning. I know a lot of people do because it works for their work schedule, but for me, it just... I like I just don't have the energy to complete a full workout. It's oh, I have to push myself a lot harder, I guess. Anyways, I did that, then I put down a to-do header and I marked a couple of tasks that I did that day. I had to email Forever 21 because someone had stolen my package. Like, what? Why would, why would you do that? Why would you need my clothes? I hope they look good in it. And then I also had to charge my Fitbit, which, funny story, I forgot to mention during the planner con spread, was that when I went to the bar with Jennifer, I was wearing my Fitbit and I guess it was loose and I had flung my arm upward to express some kind of statement and the Fitbit flew off of my wrist and onto, because we're on the second floor, it flew onto the roof of the bar on the floor, like the first floor, and we had to get someone to like get a broom and a, a sweeper thing and they got it back, but... Yeah, that's, that was a funny story that I forgot to mention in my last one. Anyways, like I said, there were Friday night festivities, went to a happy hour, and I used a half box with the little peeking munchkins. They're so cute. And it's perfect because there are three munchkins, and it represents me, Julia, and Amy. Yay! And then I would just fill in that off camera because there's some information that I don't want to share. And then on Saturday, it was my friend Ansley's birthday, so I wrote that on a quarter label, and I put a little present icon. Brian and I went to go visit some of our friends, and they have these really adorable twins, so I thought it would be really cute to mark it with this Sparkly Paper Co. and I think Willow Walla Co. collab sticker. And they're like cute characters in panda onesies, so I just used that on top of an appointment label. And then afterwards, I got some milk tea because it was in a city that we don't usually visit, so I wanted to try some place new, and I used a boba treat tomorrow. It's quite funny because Brian actually doesn't like boba or milk tea or coffee, so yeah, I don't know how we worked it out, but it's okay, I overlooked his flaw. And so we stopped by a churro place to get him a treat too. Then we went home and I went for a quick run. And then we had a little night in with some Poge and Kimmy Schmidt. On Sunday, it was St. Patrick's Day, but I had forgotten to use my holiday stickers, the ones that I collabed with Carly. So off camera, I put that down. That day, I believe, the SPC planner party tickets were released, and so I did a little bit of research for Austin, like where to stay, and like flights and stuff, so I marked that. In the afternoon, I met up with planner friends, so I put that in a half box. We had boba guys, so I used a mason jar boba sticker from my shop. And then afterwards, some people went home, and some people we hung out a little bit longer. We actually stopped by Muji and Trader Joe's and Nordstrom Rack, so I wrote that in one of the three-star checklists. And then for dinner, we had some Thai takeout, so I marked that as well. And some people came over, and we watched um, episodes of, I think it was Jeopardy Kids version, and we tried to answer the questions, and my goodness, I could not answer most of them. Those kids are so smart. And we also played some games. Alright, so that is it for this spread. I hope you enjoyed this journal with me. I know I did a lot of weird talking. Uh, I don't know, maybe my personality is showing more because I'm like doing these more often. Or maybe it's just the sugar and the caffeine. I think it's, I think it's that one. Alright, so let's think. What question shall I ask you in this video? If you made it to the very end, 
Hmm. Let me know what your favorite caffeinated drink is, and if you don't drink anything caffeinated, just comment down your favorite beverage. I think my current favorite caffeinated thing is matcha with like some kind of fruit compote at the bottom, so like strawberry or peach. I've been really digging this peach matcha drink from a boba place, so yeah. All right, that is it. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.